Hi, I'm Michael. I'm here to tell you a little bit about our setup. Uh, it's a, we have built a trailer last couple of years. Rebuilt it. Uh, we bought a trailer in South Africa, a homemade trailer, and um, this is the box from this trailer. As uh, we changed our minds to to make it a little bit bigger, <laughs> and um, we bought a booby trailer, home power, and uh, this is connected to our Land Rover. Uh, it's a uh, Discovery 2 from uh, TD5 from 2002 with an uh, upgrade of engine in order to be able to tow this uh, 1.2, 1.3 ton uh, trailer. I've uh, made adjustments with uh, bigger wheels in order to match the size of uh, Land Rover. We have installed uh, suspension and um, I made uh, f several uh, things on this uh, trailer. Uh, the trailer is fitted with two tents up here, one, two, and heating and Chinese diesel heater. That gives us uh, warmth in the tent. I have uh, installed gas for stove, and um, as you can see here, roof rack on the Land Rover is fitted with uh, two times 210 uh, watts um, uh, solar panels, and this is connected. To the trailer as you can see here in the box front box it's installed with all the electricity battery and the regulator fuses here you have the the fuses for light stove for for um, pump and fridge and uh, in inverter to get some normal 220 volts energy I put on a ladder here in order to be able to get easy up and down The box behind here, this box is the kitchen you open. Our stove is in here, you draw out. We have an awning in order to sit dry underneath. And as mentioned, the Land Rover to to tow the trailer. I will in future videos tell you more specific about the interior of the trailer. I have made this during the last couple of years, two to three years, and it works perfectly. We had our fantastic uh, vacation last summer in Morocco and everything worked perfectly totally self-sufficient with toilet and uh, electricity gas we were able to make food wherever we want and well a very very good setup I will let you know more in during videos. Have a good day. Thanks. Bye.